All right, I'm gonna record this. Welcome, guys. So, listen, I needed some assistance, and Shar was so nice to help me out. And so I was like, listen, let's 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 do a Zoom together. And I am a face because she said something to me. Okay, she said. I don't do she said I haven't uploaded one reel to Facebook and I was like are you okay like (laughs) I'm like how like Facebook is popping with reels like the reels on Facebook to me do better than my reels on Instagram so I'm like really like I had a reel that had like almost a million and a half views like girl get on reels on Facebook Yes. So I was like, all right, here, how about this? Teach me your ways about Instagram. Cause I've been for years, I've been trying to learn Instagram. I ain't trying too hard, clearly. Um, <laughs> but I primarily work my business on Facebook. So I'm gonna let you go first before jumping in, just introduce yourself to everyone. Let us know a little bit about your story. Cause you are a boss. Okay. Let us know all the things and then kind of just jump into all the tips that you want to give us about Instagram. And I'm about to get my pen and paper and take notes. And I'm going to implement because I hate when people, this for somebody right now, I hate when people teach people stuff and then you don't even implement. We ain't here to waste our time. We ain't wasting yours and you ain't wasting ours because we implementing today. Can we get a yes in the comments? Who implementing today? For sure. I like that. I'm definitely Who got on here today to implement? It's me. Me. I got on <laughs> to implement. Hold me accountable. I'm not going to be able to talk about not knowing Instagram after this. I'm going to do my best. So go ahead, take it away and let us know. Well, I'm definitely going to implement. I'm so excited to do this Zoom with you because um, like you said, I was like, Facebook I don't do Facebook I literally to this day I think I might have uploaded one reel to Facebook I was like what is this and never did it again right so um but it's funny because when people ask me to teach this is what you're going to get from me tonight um I'm going to give you guys as many tips as I can about Instagram reels but the the best advice I can give you guys is play with it because I absolutely hate teaching anything technology I'm like technological not there but for some reason, be after playing with Instagram Reels for a long time, it makes sense to me. So that being said, you really do got to find your platform. Um, and I'm going to get into that tonight. But before I do, I'm so excited to be on here, guys. If you see me drinking this stuff, I actually gave up wa- uh, alcohol for Lent. So this is alcohol-free wine. I got to put y'all on because I never knew about this, okay? <laughs> I love having something in my hand. I'm super crazy, guys. Um, I get thirsty fast, so don't mind me when you see me drinking that. But I'm so excited for this business, just like not only to be on tonight, but just to be like, it works as, I don't want to say finally back, because even through COVID and everything that happened, like it works has been my number one and only source of income. But like our culture, our family, like what, it, what I remember when I first came in is back. So my name is Shar, guys. I am on six years in this business. And I found this business on Instagram. I was not looking for it. I'm the most anti-social person you will ever meet. I hate talking to people. And I had no support or social media following. I literally wanted the wraps because I wanted to lose my stomach and um, had no intention on being a distributor. As you guys know, it's a three-month commitment. And back then, I was so broke that I couldn't afford to obligate myself to anything for three months. Now, knowing what I know now, I always like to say this, our loyal custom program is so flexible and I feel really would have felt comfortable with it. Um, I probably would have been a customer, but God knew that I was meant to be a distributor. So I joined the distributor, no intention on selling the products. I just wanted the wraps that came in our kit at the time. And back then, when you got your first four customers, you would get a $120 shopping spree. So, you know, I wanted the products, I was broke, I joined the distributor. Then my upline says to me, well, you know, you already have an account. And when you get your first four customers, you get a $120 shopping spree. So I'm like, okay. You know, I have three sisters and a mom. So I just knew those are going to be my first four customers. Well, I went to my three sisters and my mom. They left. Not my mom. My mom was my first customer. Shout out to you, mom. But my three sisters laughed at me, told me it was a scam. This is verbatim. Like, this is literally what they said to me verbatim. Told me it was a scam. 
who suckered you in. It's just a matter of time before you quit. It's just a phase and it's going to blow over. And I don't want any of the makeup that you're selling. Now, mind you, we don't sell makeup, right? So I went back to my sister, my upline, all defeated. Like they said, they're not going to buy my products. And it's a scam. If they won't buy for me, who will? And she said, I'm going to make it my business to help you prove them wrong. And from that moment on, it was like, it literally went from just being a customer to I was not going to give my sisters the ability to say, I told you so. So I love telling that side of my story because so many people don't start because and, and like they join but they do nothing because of the criticism that they get right out the gate that criticism is literally what drove me what stuck to me the most is them saying it's just a matter of time before you quit so to prove my sister's wrong just meant me, me not quitting so I could have been doing this for the next six years as long as you couldn't say I told you you were going to quit baby girl I wasn't quitting okay and I, once I made up in my mind that I wasn't quitting I may as well watch the YouTube videos I may as well study it um, I'm a student. I'm like, a, I used to be a career student. I, I became an attorney, I think really because I just love school. So like after the first five years, I was like, I don't want to work. I'm going to go just keep going to school. So I mean, that's not really why I became an attorney, but I'm a person who learns something by simply studying it. That's just what I did in college. So when it came to this business, I just studied this business and guys, I'm self, I, I have, I, my upline is my best friend. She's amazing. But I told myself this business because once I made up the mind in my mind that I wasn't quitting, like nothing was going to stop me. The first thing I did was read the compensation plan, figured that out. You can't play the game if you don't know the rules. Read the compensation plan. I started going on YouTube. If I wasn't getting customers, I would Google how to get customers. If I, if nobody was liking my post, I would go on YouTube and, and type in how to post. It works. Okay. So I said all that to say, like, I'm the last person who really could have been here. And the only reason why I'm here is because I made it, I made a decision that I'm not quitting. I'm going to make this work. And my first paycheck was $25. There's one of two mindsets. The first mindset is, oh, only $25. I need real money. Or the second mindset was what my mindset was. If I can make $25, I can make $25,000. And guys, I promise you that is exactly what I did multiple times in a month. So you are going to get everything you want out of this business, but it just depends on what your mindset. With that being said, I have no idea how I am teaching a real stream tonight, <laughs> but I'm going to give you guys the tips that I have. I'm not a perfectionist, um, but you know, because as I was going through what I wanted to go over tonight, I realized that my, my portion of this training might just be more of like the behind the scenes too how to find music how to match music up how to add fun words um things like that and you can really apply that to all of your platforms but the biggest tip i want to give you guys tonight whether you're using tiktok reels or um facebook reels is is quality content you you know you can't just be putting out stuff that you you are granted i'm not telling you to take 12 hours a day doing reels but just give your videos a little more effort and they will go a long way. That being said, my views do not have thousands and thousands of likes and they got like 1,500 to 2,000. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I have fun with reels. And lastly, I'm sorry I talk so fast. I'm from New York, so can't help it. Let me get my notes. Okay, so that was my story, guys. So let's getting into it is have fun and find your platform. What I mean by have fun is like, I don't want you guys stressed out about, I got to get a reel up, I got to get a TikTok up. What can I do to go viral? Because all of that stuff is going to happen naturally if it's going to happen. And I have gotten customers and distributors from Instagram reels. I have attracted um, new uh a new audience not a new audience but like I've attracted people through my page through audience through reels but I literally don't wake up you know thinking and stressing out about reels like if you do everything you're supposed to do in this business making reels doing host posts talking to people all the little things come together into a huge thing so I don't want you guys to walk away with this thinking I gotta figure out reels my business is gonna fail but at the same time reels tiktok and facebook reels is kind of what's in right now so be a person who's willing to go with the flow adapt and have fun with it okay so um the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is finding a sound um <laughs> there are so many different ways you can pull sounds so I think the best thing I can really do for you guys is show you guys my reels show you guys my page and or, or some of the reels that I've done and, and and try to explain them to you and go from there um we went to one team one am I able to share my screen on this hopefully yeah. I can yeah Okay, guys, so my Instagram is pri is public. I would just ask that you guys do not, you can, like, it's, it's public, so there's no need to follow me. If you follow me, I'm going to accidentally message you. Like, I'm sorry, I do not.
take the time as I should, I know, but like, if you're a follower of mine, eventually you're going to get a message from me. So please, my Instagram is C90.x, but please don't follow me. It's public. You can say whatever you want to see, just don't follow me. Um, Cause I don't want to send you a message. All right. So I'm just going to firstly go over some fun reels just to give you guys some ideas and content about what you can do to make your, your reels fun. So let me see how to share my video. Okay. Share a screen. Okay, um, so I'm starting the broadcast now. If someone could just, um, uh, Rachel, tell me if you see my screen. Yep, we see it. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go to my Instagram, C90X guys. Like I said, my Instagram is public, is public, so no need to follow me. Um, I do, uh, now, so a lot of my, my, a lot of my pictures will have um, just captions on that just make people kind of want my lifestyle. So just. I go off topic quick, guys, but while I'm on my page, when you scroll through, you'll see captions like sun's out. This one's not really one that one that counts, but most of my captions are really my story. So just find ways to get fun content. You don't have to always be in a bikini. You don't have to always be on vacation. You can just, you know, go to it, go to one team's one missions, okay? And take pictures. This picture right here, y'all, let me tell you who was taking a picture of me. My best friend was taking a picture of me from the side, my upline. And if you look at this picture from the outside looking in, you think I'm talking to a crowd of 100,000 people. So this is where you're going to get your content from, guys. Show up. But make sure your, your captions have things like this. You know, I, I'm always some way trying to get you to join my team in a caption, whether it's captions like this, whether it's just smile, it's Friday. When you come to my page, I only have like 70 posts, but I want you to like see a person who's very carefree, never post drama, blah, blah, blah. Moving on to the reels, guys. These are um, reels that- Do I, you delete You delete your posts or hide them? I, I, um, well, so I did end up, I had like thousands of posts. I ended up archiving a lot of my posts just recently. So I used to have like maybe 3,000 um, posts up here and they really are still all in my archives. If I was going to go to my archives, like the, I used to post a very different way. Um, these, these, well, these pictures are just ones that I never really put up. I put them up and take them down, but I'll take you guys back really quickly to how I post just so you can see there are different ways to post about this business. As you might notice lately, I was kind of posting only me and putting captions on them. But before I started doing that, you know, I was always posting just like me out. Um, me with friends i was posting positive captions so when it comes to how you post like this is a me and my team we were we were on a i think a green carpet thing when it comes to how you post you will definitely find your own way and i'm always doing something different there's going to be a point where i'm going to add all these pictures back to my instagram um but i just kind of got to the point where i just wanted it to look a, a little bit different so rachel answer your question i'm always changing the way my page looks but these are all archived posts which you to be on my page how do so you, how um, do you decide on. that how do i decide that yep kind of whatever's in like if you go to influencer pages you kind of see most of them are not necessarily posting quotes in between every picture but at the same time it's really um, i'm going to come back to me for a second at the same time it's very much your your theme and what you want i'm gonna show you guys a girl from my team's page she posts a lot of quotes a lot of white white backgrounds when it comes to instagram you definitely need to do attraction marketing and you definitely want your instagram to have some type of theme my theme is really just me it's just me looking like i'm having a great time other people's things might be god quotes strategically placed all throughout another theme might be white borders around every picture and white quotes in between so deciding is really just i think a personal preference you could even do a color theme if you wanted to do, do like every six pictures purple this way you have different purple outfits different purple quotes in between the next six might be pink or maybe it's all purple you know i think if you go to pinterest and type in instagram themes you'll get plenty of inspiration but i've tried so many different things and for me, Instagram is, it's important that your Instagram is pretty because Facebook is a huge market for me. I literally built to ambassador pretty much on Facebook. But um, when it comes to Instagram, because you don't have the opportunity to put in all the words and the sharing things that you do on Facebook, your Instagram needs to be attractive. When people come to your Instagram, you want them to stay. I'm going to show you guys one other Instagram so you have an idea of what someone else someone else's looks like that isn't all them, but it's the theme that makes you want to scroll on Instagram. You want people to want to 
to see your page. And the only way they're going to want to do that is if it's pretty. So that being said, I like to use an app called Preview, Feed Preview, and it helps you basically pre-post it so you can see how things are going to look. I know this is not the purpose of this training, but I think it's important for you guys to you know, realize that when you're on Instagram, now granted, in my stories, I'll be looking at Hot Mess Express, but what they actually see on the on the um, grid, you want to be pretty. Let me show you guys one more example of an Instagram that looks completely different and I absolutely love it. Um, okay, I should, am I broadcasting right now? Can you guys see me, hear me, see my screen? No, we can't. How about now? Click share. No, okay, hold on. The app is um, feed preview, but there's so many guys, like literally just, oh, literally just pick one. There's so many. Okay, um, microphone off. Oh, start broadcast, there we go, okay. Okay, so here's another Instagram. I could, I could honestly do a whole training on Instagram. So this is the one I was talking about. She, okay, so I, I don't see her putting up any quotes lately, but look how all of her highlights are just, all of her highlights are one theme, pretty one theme. Her pictures all have a white border around them. There was a time, see what she puts these white quotes in? Her, her Instagram is very attractive. It's not just her. It's people from her team. It's her. Listen, guys, you need to find people in your area and say, hey, girl, let's go do a photo shoot. When me and Tiara Tilly was in, and Marlene, we were in uh, the conference, we literally probably did five different outfit changes just to get content. So don't don't seize those opportunities. Don't be afraid to go to a one team event one team, one mission, or whatever we call them now, spring tour, and bring a second or third outfit. Y'all, this is content opportunity. So anyways, this is another Instagram, looks very different. She has quotes, but if you notice, it's pretty. It's organized. She's not just throwing up any pictures. She clearly takes the time to see how pictures are going to look. If you look at my highlight covers, no, they're not the same as hers. Hers are literally one thing one theme and you can get highlight covers from uh pinterest just go to pinterest and type in instagram highlight covers and you'll get like 40 of one theme like she has here so mine are not necessarily from the same thing they're actually all different but somehow to me in my eyes because this is all going to be to you the what, what you see somehow to me in my eyes they're all very neat and like, like they they just go with the page i don't they're, they're a little different but they just go I recommend you guys take some time to scroll through my page. If you really want to start working Instagram, scroll through my page, scroll through my highlights. Every single thing I post on these highlights, except for probably bar prep, that was totally unrelated to It Works. I just wanted to, to document myself studying for the bar, but everything else other than that is literally a highlight for It Works. If, if it's on my highlight, it has to somewhat a hobby related to It Works. Even if it's living spree, living spree might just be me traveling and going places. But when, I, when you come to my page, I want you to see now, look, 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 this is 210 weeks ago, so it's going to take time to build it up. But I want you to see things like this, like, wow, what does this girl do for a living? Because she's always somewhere. Over time, you're going to have an Instagram full of content and people are going to come to your page. And even though they only see 63 posts on my page, none of none of these pictures are it works. Even though they only see 63 posts, when they go through these stories and these, these highlights, they're going to say, what are you doing? Anytime I get a customer lately, I've been putting up an orders highlight because I want people to make, I want to make sure people, my service is really bad guys, so I'm sorry. But anytime I get a new customer, I started putting up the, this in a highlight because when people come to my page, I want them to see, oh, this is somebody who people really order from, you know, and over time you'll build it up. All right. Now what we really came here for is reels. So reels, which you can get to just by clicking on the second tab, this is your Instagram lives. When you go live, they'll be right here. Um, this is your reels and the first one is your profile grid. So when you go to my reels, I just want to go to some specific it works ones and you, the, you, everything I'm going to go to right now, you want to be sprinkling in multiple of these. You don't want it all to be, it works, it works, it works because next thing you know, like you're just an annoying it works girls and nobody wants to follow you because they don't want to see about it works all day, but you have to start thinking creatively. How can I incorporate it works without screaming it works? Well, I can start. I was at a boat show. We were just checking out boats, not to buy. These were some million dollar yachts, but I decided to make a little video, which I'm going to show you guys how to do this if, if Rachel allowed me to, because this is a, you know, my deal with the boat I But this is just me at a boat show, and it says, check out this yacht, manifest in my dreams. You want to inspire.
inspire people with real. You want them to come to your page and say like, you know, that might not be her yacht, but the mere fact that she's manifesting it means that this girl is thinking on a level that I want to be thinking on. That's the purpose of that reel. And you'll notice as I go through these, everything I put up is literally intentional for it works, even though you don't want it. My goal at the end of the day is to make somebody want my life. Um, so the next time, you know, if you live in a hot state, the next time you go to the pool, girl, you better bring two or three bathing suits. Cause you, according to your Instagram, you're going to live at the pool. Right. But then when you do have opportunities to go to the pool, oh, that's actually not the video I was talking about. Um, okay. So this one, this is a, just a random, that I'm about to do, that I'm just, it's Wednesday. I'm just showing you this I want to make it so it might be Saturday. I love it for you. I want to see the video. 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 I want to see the fake it till you make it and you get what I'm saying start planning content days this girl right here and the the one that says it works road rally um she's my upline and anytime we have an event that we can go to we go and we bring different outfits because we want to get content so this one right here it works road rally which is this one on the right in the yellow I'm gonna press that one this is us at an it works event and just showing me get it, get when it, it works it having fun quick tip make sure that right video like this, get it, get it, get it, get it. read the caption. You see how at the end it has read the caption? You need to make sure you are quickly directing get it, get it, everybody get it, get it, to read the caption. Because if not, they're just going to come off of this video. I want them to actually read get it, get the it, caption get it, get it, get it. and see my whole It Works post, you know? It talks about how I joined this get company, it, why it, I joined it, this company. And in this video, it said, this girl was a complete stranger and she completely changed my life. What is the purpose of this girl? To show you that you can get a stranger on Facebook. That's what she says. You can get a stranger on Facebook and she could change your entire life. So don't get it, get it, get it. It's just another annoying multi level marketing girl because the same thing might happen to you. That was the purpose of that one. At the same event, guys, same event. That's what I'm telling you. Get content. Same event. I got this video out. Of God, this is another annoying it works girl you think like if this is what it means to do it works i want to do it works and that is what i want you guys to start doing and thinking but i promise you guys i did not always have the freedom to travel the way i did and i can still make videos like this when you're in the grocery store make little videos like this and like i said if rachel lets me i'm going to show you guys how to use splice because splice is going to change the game if yeah, y'all say if y'all are sick of your words not matching up and you're sick of your corny videos, Spice is going to change the game. And I'm going to show you two of my favorite tips on Spice tonight. And then I want you guys to just play with the app. Because whether it's, like I said before, Instagram, um, Splice, whatever it is, you got to play with it and eventually you'll master it. So day trip to Miami was another day. Like if you if you going out to dinner, little things like this, record it and then Spice, I'll show you guys Um, okay, so now when you're at It Works events, I'm going to show you guys some of the other ones that's not It Works events, but like this one right here, Tiara oh, Tilly made this one for cool. us. When I see yeah. women who are present go moms best and friend. successful business yeah, women. Let me go, cool. Just get a couple of girls yeah. at the events together, throw go some best of friend. together, and edit yeah, it when let you me get go, home. Cool. Um, this is just a, literally a picture of me. Oh, this is another event. You see, let me start this one again. I want to explain this before I before I start it. So let me just come back here. Before I start that one, guys, you want to tell a story on your Insta, on your videos. And this is TikTok, real, whatever it is. Um, the reels that blow up the most for me are the ones that are telling a story and the people have to follow along with it. Like the one that I'm about to show you. So sometimes it will, t oh, you can't, oh, you can't hear when the video plays at all. Oh, when there's sound on it. Okay, it, I'll barely, try to yeah.
Okay, so I'll make sure I turn the sound off next time. Um, sorry about that. Um, but you want to make sure you are, or no, not all of them, but some of them just be telling a story. So when you go to events, make, just make clips of people. We, we, I'm telling you, Karma's, we, we got so much content because we didn't know the next time we would get together in person. So we were switching outfits, switching blazers, switching bells. <laughs> we, Chrissy Wilson, we was having a great time doing it, but you need the content. So on that lesson, on the one I'm about to show you guys, watch the story. We try to read the story. The only time you should be posting a reel or a TikTok that's that long is if you're telling a story. Other than that, guys, you want to keep your reels to like no more than 30 seconds. And even that's really pushing it. Because if you have a minute long reel and it's really not telling a story that you have to actually read, like you want to get to the end because you want to see how it ends. If you're just like being silly for a minute, people are not going to watch that to the end. And if they don't watch it to the end, the video is not going to, you know, be surface to the top, surface to the top, because it's like people not even finishing it. So the algorithm is not going to push it up. So I know I'm all over the map tonight, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just time teaching here. So, um, this one, try to watch the story. I'm going to turn the sound off. Actually, I'm not even going to talk. Just watch the story. We got to uh, share again. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Screen. Okay. All right, one second. Okay, so on this one, guys, remember, you're going to just watch the story. And when I say watch the story, you're going to try to read it. I'm going to play it two times because nine times out of 10, people are going to have to play, uh, watch it at least twice just to get everything. But when you, when you watch my story through photos and videos, you want to join and be a part of this. Run things like this, guys. Read the caption. That's sort of the caption. And when you read the caption, stop that music. Okay, so when you read the caption, when I try to read, oh, I'm pressing the wrong thing. You'll see a story. So make sure you're telling stories um, with your reels, but I'm also gonna take you guys through a couple of the funny ones because you wanna sprinkle that in. But right now, I just wanted to show you what you really should be doing with your team. Now, motivational ones. I'm, I'm gonna quickly get to Spice right after this, but just go through. Oh, they deleted this audio. That's really annoying. Sometimes that happens, which is why let's switch over to the audio thing now, because when people delete the audio, then your words come off. So what's best is if you could record, um, let me stop this. What, what I find is best is if you could get the sound on your video without, um, without having to use somebody else's sound. So how do you do that? Everybody should know how to screen record. Can you guys drop a one in the chat if you know how to screen record with the sound? You know how to take a video, make it screen. And I, only ha I have an iPhone, so okay, good. So enough of you know how to screen record a video with the sound. So let's, let's, once you have, so for example, Rachel actually the other day was having trouble matching up the words on her video she must have found a video on tiktok um and the words were matching up so let me show you guys how to match up words and then i'll also show you guys how to add sound from tiktok to your clip without it being somebody else's audio just being your audio and match it up to your lips and then the last thing i'll do is just really quickly go through instagram like give me six more minutes and i'll be done um let's do the editing behind the scenes because this is big you again Want your videos to be fun. Um, let's get into it. Let me share my screen again. I love Splice. So share content. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so this is the Splice right here in the bottom right corner. That's Splice. So this you're video not what you say you can't you're hear not, you're not sharing oh i'm not sharing of course i'm not okay i'm sharing now yeah 
Okay. So Splice is in the bottom right corner. Um, I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, this is a different one. Actually, that's not the one I was thinking of. Okay. So let's say you have a video like Rachel did and the words don't match up. So this is her original video. I, you know, when you click, click it, when you upload it, you pick where, where you want it to be. TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram Story. It's important that you pick the one that you're going to be using because the ratio is different for each platform. So if I'm using a TikTok thing, I want to make sure I hit TikTok because if I, if I keep it on TikTok and I really want to use it for Instagram, it's going to be too stretched for Instagram and vice versa. So I'm going to hit Instagram Reels in this instance and hit create. And what I want you guys to notice here is her words don't match her lips. And this was her problem. Why can't I press play? Oh, maybe it's because I'm recording. Maybe that's, because you're on Zoom. I don't know. That's not fun. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to go on to another... Thing. I'm so sorry. Just give me one second. Because I really want you guys to see this. Because this is, I think this is where people's videos end up looking the craziest. All right. So the ID for this is 618-558-8964. And the password. Okay. I'm going to come on from a different, um, <clears throat> thingy is there any way to make a different one to host it's the cd one um do you see me it's the one that says cdj okay perfect Did you mute? Okay, so from the CDG one, can you guys see my, hold on, I'm a little confused, but we're gonna figure this out, okay. Okay, so you guys can see me doing it here, right? Can you guys see this? Yeah, we can. Okay, so going to Splice, right? Now let's try to play this. This guy is just a minute. Okay, sounds good? Sounds good? Sounds good? No. Now it sounds good. Okay. All right, so on this one, notice how the words, her mouth doesn't match the words. Oh, maybe it's my Get Apple off because Zoom it's on phone. your it's other annoying. phone. So just stay on Zoom. Take the CDG off of Zoom and just show the screen. So turn on the camera on. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I'm. Whole, I don't. I don't. I don't know if it's the app because. So this one right here. This. This right here. This phone right here. Yeah. Turn on the camera and turn it around. Yeah, but I don't have Splice on the other phone, but I think it was just the app. So I just closed out of it. I'm going to go back in because oh. even, even when I was off of here, it wasn't playing. I hope I can show you guys this. If not, I might have to make a video and send it back to you guys because this isn't working. Yeah, guys. All right. So I'm going to have to skip that portion of it because it doesn't, it doesn't seem to let me do that while I'm on Zoom. So I'll quickly try to explain it to you guys, but I promise you guys by the end of this week, I will definitely get you an actual video of me doing it on screen recording, showing you. But um, basically to find a sound, when you find a sound, screen record the sound, just write these steps down. And then when you go to splice, you will literally follow these steps. You'll see it. When you go to, um, you find the sound that you want, go to splice, open up splice upload actually guys i i think it's gonna be impossible to explain that without actually showing you i'm trying to think it out in my head and i think it's just gonna be too all over the place and i don't want this to be too long so i will definitely get you guys a recorded video explaining how to use splice to make quick fun videos and to change the sound um but aside from that let me just go to my notes and see if there was any i know there's a couple other things i wanted to add for you guys um i think my biggest my biggest thing here is 
just play with it and and have fun with it. Another thing you want to also do is make sure read the caption was the most important tip, but also make sure you put fun, catchy words on your um on your video. Let me lastly just walk you guys through Instagram itself. Okay. So um yeah, most of the videos as I as I showed you guys are just me living my life. This is this one's really funny to me. I'll show it to you. It's just funny little things. <laughs> Sensational. And you just find the sound that's funny and just you know, have fun with it. But for Instagram Reels, just the how-tos about it, you could literally just go, you know, to your homepage, hit the plus sign, post a reel, and I pre-record everything. I don't really add them on. I don't really do anything on Zoom or on, on Instagram. These buttons over here, guys, I have I, I, I don't use them. The the one X button will make things go faster if you are recording, but I literally just pre-record everything, use splice to cut it up, change the sounds, play with splice. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna come back. Forget about it even a video. I'm just gonna come back with a full training on splice because I only use splice for, for everything. And once you know how to use splice. Wow, I'm actually talking to myself and you guys can see me on Instagram, even though I'm not on Zoom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Once you know how to use Splice, you don't need a certain, you don't need a certain um platform. It doesn't have to be Facebook, Instagram, Reels. Make your videos on Splice, sounds, everything, speed, effects, everything, and upload them. But on here, really quickly, if you wanted to upload something. what yeah guys I don't know what's up this is so weird I guess I never tried to like do as maybe it's because like with with the reels and stuff you can't you know how like if you try to save a reel it takes the sound off maybe that's why it's interfering um so I don't think I can really go forward with showing you guys actually how to do things um but I do hope that I gave you some you, you can't I do hope I gave you uh, yeah, I hope I gave you guys some good tips. I promise you guys, I'm going to get back to you on a real sp splice because splice changed the game for me. Um, but for the most part, guys, just have fun. Don't worry about the views. I didn't even take Instagram real seriously until probably like December. And I just have fun doing it. I get just follow people like Cheyenne Knox. And I can't tell you how many sounds I get from Shay's page. So follow other It Works leaders or don't follow them. I'm not telling you to follow them, but just go to their page and use their sounds and duplicate the video. And I promise you guys, I'm going to give it to Rachel now. I know I'm 10 minutes old to do, but I'm going to give it to you to teach us about, about Instagram. And thank you, girl. Oh, that was amazing. Y'all tell her how amazing that was in the comments. That was so good. So honestly, that was gold for me because it's the making of them. Like, of course, um, well, does anybody on here work their business on Facebook? I know our team primarily, but drop me a one if you actually work your business on Facebook. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, Instagram and Facebook are like night and day. They really are. Um, and which is why I'm trying to get my life together when it comes to Instagram. Maybe by the end of 2022, I'm going to have 50,000 followers. Honestly, it's not about the followers. It's about who you can get to do something. So I, I want people that's actually going to interact and do something with me. And I need the feature of that 10,000. Yes. Okay. So real quick, I'm not going to take long. I'm just going to show you guys um, my feed. I love that. She said, don't follow me because I'm going to message you. And that's just the ability of working your business. It's the same thing. Don't comment. Unless you are on somebody's team and they ask you to boost the post, don't boost the post. They're going to message you. And then be like, oh, I'm a distributor. No, no, please don't. Like, there's one less message that I could have sent, especially if the post is blowing up. You got the person excited thinking you a potential buyer and stuff. Don't do that. All right. So I'm going to hop on here on my phone, um, just show you guys my feed and how I'm able to effectively work Facebook. I've been building my Facebook for almost 10 years now. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, but you can go from zero to 100 real quick. I'm gonna tell you, especially with using Reels, the Reels has, um, here, let me hop on here. Reels has like built my um, network on Facebook big time. 
Um, hold on one second. Let me show you guys. All right. So I only have a few tips, but really, listen, Shar gave all the juice about making the real, making reels. And so that is going to be very effective. <laughs> for um this too like this this will be great for this too so when it comes to uh -oh. all right so when it comes to my facebook i just recently got asked to be a digital creator which is cool because that i mean now i'm able to get paid for my reel so my profile looks different because once you say yes they change your profile um, but as you see here, like I didn't have, I don't even know that I had, I don't even know how many followers I had before, um, before I became a digital creator, but you can have followers on Facebook. Um, you can only have 5,000 friends, but you can have unlimited followers on Facebook. And a lot of people don't even know that they have Facebook have drop a me in the comments. If you've ever went to your stories and you couldn't see who interacted with the stories. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. That is a follower. And unfortunately, Facebook has it where we can't see, uh -oh, where we can't see who, um, yep, it'll say others. We can't see who um, interacts. So unfortunately. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys my feed real quick. Of course, if you have a pop, pop in post, especially if it's a product post, if you pin it to the top of your page, it will keep like rejuvenating. So like people will keep commenting on it. So if you have something that is working, like you put up a post and you get like 100 comments, 50 comments, maybe not 100, maybe like 40 comments, maybe pin it to your post for the month, um, especially if it's a product tester um, post. But um, as you see, I'm, I top five works for, for Facebook and people buy people literally, they want to like, be connected and feel connected to you. And so as much as I throw in like product posts or things of that nature, mainly I'm posting about me and my family. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it's kind of similar to um, Instagram, but the aesthetic is just not as great. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like it's not, you don't, it's not really that visualization. It's more so they want to read the words. They want to be connected. They like quotes and things of that nature. So of course, whenever I post pictures of myself, I'm, this picture is old. Okay. You can post old pictures. And I actually stole this status from Aaron Tweed. Okay. I didn't make this. Sometimes I am making my own, but if I see something from somebody else, I actually have a folder on Facebook that says potential post. So if you post something and I love it, I'm going to post it again later. And then I also create my own stuff. Um, there, so there are posts that don't get a lot of clout, which is fine. I actually like this because I like new distributors to know that even though the, some of my posts don't have a lot of likes or content, people still see them. They really do. And then what is your purpose on Facebook? And for me personally, it's to... My, my purpose is to inspire, it is to encourage, and it is to give. And so just know, like, what is your mission when it comes to being on Facebook? Even when it comes to building your team and things like that. I So my lifestyle clearly looks different. I got four kids, a husband, and a dog, right? So I am posting my four kids, my husband, um, we go out and we do things. I'm showing them my freedom within the middle of the day. And of course... People love Zoe on a whole nother level. I'm asking for product testers and things like that. So um, talking about my off day, showing my life and what I get to do. But when it comes to reels, y'all, and this is real life. So I'm start. I'm trying, it's the same thing, just trying different things because I am in a place of trying different things. <laughs> I really am. Um, really just figuring out what works it, the whole, and shout out to you, Shar, because now I'm gonna be able to upload videos without this TikTok emblem, praise God. So I can, they don't flag any of my posts, but, um, I'm trying to, hold on, let me see if I can, here it goes right here. Um, so if you don't have the reels button on your thing, I just showed you something real fast. I don't know if I just saw that. So if you go to where people follow you from your reel, like that notification that says such and such followed you from your reel. If you click that, it'll actually take you to all your reels, which is cool. So in all honesty, I make my TikToks on, on TikTok. And, but see, listen, I'm, I'm going to switch it up. So thank you, Char. 
Um, and then I pull them over and I'm be, be very honest with y'all when it comes to Facebook, they love my business TikToks. Like they, the other ones be cute, but when I tell you like Facebook loves, even though they be trying to report you, those are the ones that get the most clout on Facebook. And I will tell you guys, I'll show you guys this, well, I'll show you this one. I was actually 10 days part of when I made this one. Let's go. So going back to what Shar said, the read the caption. So you always want a call to action, guys. It's like, it's important. This one I put up today, I've already gotten, this is an old Ooh. from TikTok. Ooh. So I probably should put it what? through splice because it would be oh, yeah. better. And now it's blurry mm, mm, it really mm, shouldn't mm, be blurry. But showing my personality is just important. Like make sure, if, if I always tell my team, if it feels awkward, it looks awkward. So re-record re it. Like if you feel awkward doing it, then you need to re-record it and get out of your element, get out of your head and then redo it. But I love having, I'll show you guys, I am sharing about my postpartum journey. I share about postpartum depression because I do want to reach more people than just people who want to make extra income. It helps me build my network. But this one right here, um, I guess I could show this one right here. Well, I... And this is all too. And non compliant, by the way. <laughs> so, this one was drop me in the comments. But what I learned very quickly is that I'm not going through them comments. Okay. I'm really not. It's way too many. So, what I start doing now is I tell people to text me. That one had to read the caption, but in the caption, it tells them to text me. But this one, I think, says text me. Yeah. So it says text, text extra and then to my number. Don't. Don't say that. Don't. And that one don't even have nothing. So I always like to have a call to action because it helps. But I'm going to tell you, it's just the consistency of doing it. And people love the business TikToks unless it's like original, original content. Um, like you talking or something like that. Other than that, you see those have like smaller views. Now, that doesn't mean that it might not come back around, but it's the, the, business, the business reels and the original content. So like this one down here. Um... Like there's one of me actually talking. I just encourage somebody's heart today. If you are they like experiencing. That. But when I'm doing like just uh, viral ones or something like that, and it doesn't have something about the business that draws people in, they don't get as many, um, as many views. But if it's within your niche or like who you are. So for example, my husband is a basketball coach. So this one right here is. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> You don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> Woo, and then that'll also do that's it. the viral sound. And so that had more views than other ones. And so like like Char said, you got to play with it, but I'm about to play with it even more now that I can make them outside of reels, but it's the consistency of adding them to it. And you just never know what's going to pop. I'm just be honest, like on, on Facebook, because they're figuring it out because it's, you know, face Facebook was the last one to get reels. They're figuring out, just post them. Um, right now I'm posting three a day. So I'm actually pulling old ones from TikTok and moving them into, um, Facebook in order to do it. But when it comes to my feed and I'm going to tell y'all this, and then I'm going to be done, but, um, thank you. But when it comes to um, what me posting, y'all, I get new followers from um, my reels. And I always tell my team like this, I could get 10 new followers. That's something. That's 10 new people that are looking at my page, right? And so I can put up a product post and people wonder why it goes crazy. It's because I have new followers that I got from reels. So when I put up a post and I get 200 comments on there, that's because I'm doing the reels and it's building my network. 
but I don't stop posting the way that I post to show that who I really am because people are going to come and scroll through your page. My page is 100% public because I want them to be able to come and see, okay, this is a real person. Okay, she really does um, the business. Okay, wait, she does this full time. Oh, wait, her and her kids on Filter Friday. I want to paint a picture for, for them. And my picture is a freedom right now. But like Char said, like, fake it till you make it. Like, you want to, and, and I'm not doing as much of the, the friendships, freedom, and fun as I normally do, but there are seasons. So when I do my retreat or things like that, the, the, I show those type of things. Um, so is it better to post the real with your own sound? If you do post the real with your own sound, sometimes you want to take the viral sound and still put it on there um, so that it'll catch it and then just talk over it. Um, that is, yes. But when you speak on it, it'll go further. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Like if it, it has to be if you're a speaker, like if you're somebody who actually would speak to people. Um, and is there a way we can find the follow feature on Facebook? I tried to do it on Becoming Serious. Um so when it comes to Facebook following, I don't know if y'all know that they, they have the option to follow you. So let, let's just say, um, let me go to, how do you find your followers? Because they, I'm, I'm not understanding the question. Yeah. Um, no, so with real songs, if you're going to use a real song, you don't have to worry about copyright issues because you're going to do it in that way you do it in the app. You know what I mean? But when it comes to what Shar is talking about, that's something totally different because then it would be an original sound. Yes, to see who follows you. Yeah, I can tell you about that later. Um, so anybody else have any other questions for Shar and I? That my, I know mine was really brief and straight to the point, but in on Facebook, you want to paint a picture, the whole picture, not just little glimpses of it. They want to see the whole picture. Um, how do you get reels on Facebook? So you... Everybody doesn't have reels on Facebook, right? I think no. I think everybody does have reels. It's just a matter of like being invited to be paid for your reels. Okay, so in order to go, to, I mean, the way I saw I had reels is I just went to my Facebook and um, oh, I can see it now. It is showing, so I can show this. So I just went to. So if I open up my Facebook right here where it says stories it says reels and it says rooms and so I would just click reels and then it says create reels I see that so it's really simple to get to them yeah 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 I was wondering though, um, if your page, if your Facebook is not um, public, you probably think it probably wouldn't do it as well, right? Yes, absolutely. Unless you make your reels public, which I don't even know how you do that, but I mean, I guess that's a thing. Public in that page because that would be ideal. Uh, say that again. I said, can you make your reels public and not your page? So I said that you can. That's yeah. awesome. I've never. Um, yeah, I'm assuming. I guess so. I'm, I've never even played with it because I don't, um, my page is public. So yes, thank you. I'm gonna play around. We might have to do another Zoom about this Splice app, okay? So- I definitely think it's for sure. Yeah, so we'll play with it. So our homework is to play with the Splice app, okay? I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. And um, y'all just let Shara have, know how amazing she is and how grateful we are that you did this for us on today. And you need to go upload your reels to Facebook. Just upload them, okay? Oh, yes. Yes, huh? yes go do it. Just save and put it. When you go through Splice, just put that mug on Facebook. All right, you got anything else? That was it for me. It's just so funny how, you know, when Rachel, when Rachel did hers, I did mine. I think, you know, like we both kept saying, just have fun with it. You're going to get frustrated, but every single day you get better and better until like eventually you'll be able to get six reels up in two, in two hours, in, in 20 minutes, you know? Yes. And I always tell people like, if you're not having a good day, like wait till you're having a good day and then just rock, like go crazy, like do 10 of them and just don't put all of them up. Or like Shar said, just start to record footage. And so that's something that I'm starting to do more just so I can piece certain things together, which is cool. Yeah.
So I'm excited I'm going to make me some reels because I got content for days, okay? For real. It's ridiculous how many pictures are in my phone. All right, so I'm going to pray we're going to hop off here. Thank you guys for hopping on tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you. We thank you for Shar and her team joining us tonight. We thank you for how you are finessing our hearts and our minds and getting us acclimated to things that will build our business. And so God, today, let us not walk away discouraged, but excited about what we get to do in these new skills that we are learning. God, give us the courage to walk forward and actually try and, and implement and do our best. So God, we just thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, God, have a good night. Thank you.